of the most exciting and most anticipated car launches of 2020 is this thing. The 2020 Porsche Taycan. This is the Turbo S and it's the first time that the car has touched down here in Australia. Now we're getting a unique preview look at this car in a studio environment where we can get up close and personal and see some of the technology that comes standard on the Australian spec car. As it rotates behind me, you can see, regardless of the four door layout, it is unmistakably a Porsche and you get to this awesome rear end with the LED light bar that makes the Taycan look like a prop from a science fiction movie. The full electric Porsche Taycan is now available to order in Australia. There are three variants on offer. Pricing starts from $191,000 for the Taycan 4S, $269,100 for the Turbo, and $339,100 for the range-topping Taycan Turbo S. With power outputs ranging from 390 kilowatts in the 4S to 560 kilowatts under overboost in the Turbo S, Porsche claim the four-door sedan is capable of launching from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 2.8 seconds. Now that's the same as a 911 GT2 RS. It's a very modern looking machine and with the sloping turret and wide hips, clearly a Porsche. The headlamps are fully integrated to improve aerodynamic efficiency, with the three-stage rear spoiler automatically deploying to adapt the car's aero signature as speed increases. Now, all prices I noted are before options and on-road costs, and while you can still go to town by ticking boxes to personalise your Taycan, Australian models are already generously equipped in standard form. One of the most important inclusions in the Australian spec of the Taycan is the full complement of charging infrastructure that you need while you own the car. Not only does it come with a subscription to the ChargeFox public network, but Porsche include the home wall box as well, including the DC charge port within the car. So if you've got three phase power at home, you can charge up your Taycan nice and quickly. Now, if you are caught short out in public, Porsche also include a cable that'll let you use the public network. And you're kind of gonna to want to because every time you do, you get to do this. Now that's cool. It's not just electrified assets that set the Australian spec Taycan apart either. 20 inch wheels are standard on the 4S, whereas the Turbo S includes the 21 inch Mission E wheels and carbon ceramic brakes, as well as these lovely carbon fiber aero elements. The panoramic sunroof on our Volcano Grey Turbo S is optional. And while the Taycan is configured as a four seater, you can optionally add a center rear seat to help with family outings. Now, before we get to the exciting stuff, this is just to prove that there is a reasonable amount of room in the back of the Taycan. It's similar to a Panamera if you've ever sat in one of those, and obviously a little bit more spacious than what you'll find in a 911. But for rear passengers, you do get a cool digital climate control uh, screen down here. My hair is just touching the frame of this awesome full-size optional panoramic roof. Uh, but I have to say, if I did have to spend time back here on a long trip, I'd be reasonably comfortable. Let's take a look up front. Now possibly the best thing about the cabin of the Taycan is if you are familiar to any Porsche, a 911, a, a Panamera, a Macan or a Cayenne, this feels immediately familiar. It's like the way that Mercedes have taken the approach with the EQC. If you can drive a, a regular Mercedes, you can drive an electric one. There's obviously a virtual assistant that listens for the word Porsche, just like in the Mercedes as well. But everything feels very, very familiar. The gauge cluster is the same as what you're used to. The touchscreen and all of the information in the PCM system here is the same as what you're used to, meaning that you can get into a Taycan and feel immediately at home if you're part of the Porsche family. As well as the virtual assistant, a Bose surround sound system is standard across the range and Turbo and Turbo S models receive quad zone climate control and ambient interior lighting. All models are equipped with adaptive cruise control, lane change and lane keep assist, keyless entry, a surround view camera, heated and ventilated front seats, DAB radio and even a heated steering wheel. There's also a three year comprehensive service package across the range. And of course, as with any Porsche, you can configure the interior in a staggering number of ways, with seats, leather, trim, and component options all available. Porsche claim that 50% of all Australian inquiries so far is from buyers who are new to the brand, so it shows just what an exciting vehicle the Taycan is. Now, if you are interested, orders are open now, and we expect to see cars land locally in December this year. Of course, you can find out all you need to know about the Porsche Taycan at caradvice.com. 
Hit subscribe to stay up to date with all of our videos and be first to know when we get our chance to drive the Taycan in Australia on local roads later this year. In the meantime, let us know what colour you want because quite frankly, the car's already doing most of the choosing.